Belated Happy New Year, Alabama Baptist. I hope the New Year's gotten off to an excellent start for you because we're right in the throes of some busy times, not only in your church life, but across the state. Let me take this moment just to emphasize something that's been on my heart and mind. Every year I choose a, a verse that kind of helps me think about the Scripture in a personalized fashion. Uh, last year it was Isaiah 41.10. This year I'm, I'm using Proverbs 1.7. As you know, there are 31 Proverbs. You could read one a day and kind of make it a daily vitamin, biblically speaking. Proverbs 1.7 is a thesis of Proverbs, if you want to call it that. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Now, I've been doing some thinking about the fear of the Lord. There was a time we, we used the term God-fearers, a God-fearing person. We don't use that so often now because we think of fear as being more like anxiety and but the scripture here is, of course, talking about the reverence for God. Putting the priority upon Him is the beginning of wisdom. So I want to, tell you, I want to confess to you, I am one who quickly admits I'm wisdom challenged. Every day I make it a practice to pray for wisdom. But the beginning of that wisdom is having the right relationship with Him, keeping our focus upon Him. One of my overused words is focus. The people at the State Board of Missions, they hear me use that term so often. In fact, in Alabama Baptist, if you'll notice, focus is the term. I'm focusing more and more on living the presence of God as much as I can and practicing His presence as much as I can, but knowing that the fear of the Lord, the reverence for Him, is the beginning of the kind of wisdom I need, you need, we all need to make the right daily decisions and go in the right direction in life. James reminds us that he will give us wisdom if we ask him. In fact, he'll give it to us liberally, generously. My prayer for you this new year is that you and I together will have the right relationship with the Lord, we'll reverence him, we'll fear the Lord, and together we'll experience his daily dose of wisdom so we can apply it in our lives and fulfill the Great Commission. For we have one mission, remember, the Great Commission. God bless you.